last time on Oscar and Herman Play Inside. I thought it might be nice if I read you a story. Once upon a time, there was a drove of hares who spent their days running races in a meadow of beautiful flowers. If you think you're so fast, I challenge you to a race. The cat had decided that Chipmunk was a more interesting prospect, taking two whole contestants out of the race. The deer turned left and kept bounding away, away, leaping far in the wrong direction. The duck decided it would much rather play in the water than finish the race. And the poor hare fell down deep into the ground, landing with a thump and a bump on the head. So long, Bun Bun. Have fun climbing out of that hole. <laughs> Tortoise walked away laughing. The hare just sat there in the hole in the ground. It sat for a long while, crying to itself, not knowing what else to do. It did not see the deer make the wrong turn or the duck take a swim in the pond. In fact, None of its friends had come by at all. The hare was all alone. <laughs> mean old tortoise. Why does it pick on me so much? I never did anything to them. All hares do is eat yummy flowers and play and laugh and hop around the... Wait a minute. We hop! How could I forget? Hares aren't just good at running around. We're also excellent hoppers! And so, the hare gathered all of its strength, and with one good leap, hopped right out of the hole and back into the race. <gasps> Herman! Sorry. I eat when I get nervous. Uh, uh, you're not supposed to be eating anything. Where'd you even get that popcorn? From the concession stand. But Over there. Where did... Uh, never mind. Can we just get back to the story? Okay. No, no, no. no. Herman. Fine. The hare was very far behind, but knew that with a little luck, it could at least beat the tortoise, if not catch up to the rest. All the other hares were depending on this, and a good hare never gives up. So with a gleam in its eye, the hare hop, hop, hopped its way down the path. It hopped past the fork in the road to the right. It hopped as the sun began to set, turning the sky bright painted colors. It hopped and it hopped till it finally saw the tortoise up ahead, almost at the finish line. The tortoise heard the thump thump of long feet coming from behind it. But how could that be? The tortoise turned its head and saw the hare running faster than any animal it had ever seen, and it was catching up quickly. It's too late, Hare. I'm about to win. You'll never catch up now. But the tortoise, too busy taunting the hare, didn't see the rock in the path in front of him. And the mean tortoise tripped, tumbled, and landed flat on his back, just feet from the finish line. The crowd let out a gasp and went silent. They couldn't believe what was happening. The hare knew this was his chance, and ran as hard as he could. And just as the hare was about to cross the finish line, the tortoise yelled, Someone help me! I can't get up! Help! Help! The hare stopped, and turned to look back at his fallen foe. The sight of the tortoise was just too sad. But what should the hare do? The tortoise had been so mean. 
and the hare had every right to cross the finish line and claim victory. The crowd would surely cheer, and hares would forever live in glory. But it couldn't leave a struggling creature in its time of need. Not this heroic hare, no siree. Its heart was too big. Its compassion too great. It's... Oscar. Okay, okay. The hare turned and walked back to the troubled tortoise. Help me, please! I'm stuck like a tortoise on its back! The tortoise pleaded with him. Uh, you are a tortoise on its back, the hare pointed out. You see my problem then? Please help me! Why should I? replied the hare. The tortoise looked scared. You've been so mean since we first met, said the hare. You called me names. You hit me and pushed me around. You trapped me down a hole and left me there. You've been sneaky and rude, and I don't know why. Why are you acting like this? Why? Because I don't have any friends, cried the tortoise. But this just made the hare more confused. What? I don't... If you help me up, I'll explain. If you apologize, I'll help you up. I'm sorry, said the tortoise reluctantly. Uh, what's that? asked the hare. My big floppy ears couldn't quite catch that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cried the tortoise. Thank you. And the hare leaned against the side of the shell and used its big, strong feet to push the tortoise over. Okay, tortoise, explain, the hare said. Why are you being so mean? Because no one ever wants to play with me. You see, tortoises aren't very fast. Our great big shells make us tough. But they're pretty heavy for our short little legs. So any time I tried to play with other animals, they would just laugh at me for being too slow. Eventually, the only way someone would play with me is if I tricked them into it. So that's what I did with you. I saw all you hares running and playing, and I knew you'd never ask me to join in, because no one ever does. So I tricked you. I thought that if I won the race, you might want to play again. Tortoise, I'm sorry that you feel left out, but tricking and bullying others doesn't make us want to play with you. It just makes us angry. So maybe we try something else? From now on, whenever you want to play a game, you just come on over and ask me. I'll let everyone know you just want to have fun with us. No tricks. Really? You promise? asked the tortoise. Promise, said the hare, with a sincere smile. Uh, one more thing, added the hare. If you want to make things right, why don't we start right now? What do you mean? asked the tortoise. And the hare jumped on the tortoise's back. And together they walked to the finish line, with all the other animals watching the end in sight. Both tortoise and hare could hear the crowd cheering them on. And just as they were about to cross the finish line, a loud strange sound rang through the air from somewhere down the path. And when the dust had settled, all the animals opened their eyes to a shocking sight. The cat and the chipmunk, somehow or other while speeding along, had made their way back onto the course and crossed the finish line first. The tortoise and hare's jaws dropped in shock. And then they started to laugh and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> After all of that, neither tortoise nor the hare managed to win the race. 
Finally, they crossed the finish line together. The deer followed suit, uh, telling no one of that little detour. Even the duck waddled over the line not long after. With the race finally finished, the animals made their way back to the flowery meadow. They all had a picnic, old friends and new, and forevermore the animals, large and small, played together. The What's the moral of the story, Oscar? Well, that hares were clearly the fastest and would have won the race if it wasn't for cheaters. Uh, I don't think that's how the story really goes, Oscar. <laughs> well, there may have been one or two teeny tiny embellishments for dramatic effect, <laughs> but mostly that's the way it really happened. Probably. At least... That's what the rabbit at the library told me when he suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for reading me that story. I feel a lot better. Oh, of course, Herman. What are brothers for? Now you get some rest. <laughs> Oscar? Yeah, Herman? Would you read me one more story? <laughs> of course, Herman. But then you have to get some rest. Deal? Deal. Okay. <laughs> What do you want me to read? Oh, it's my favorite story. It's right there in the drawer. Hmm? Okay, one sec. <laughs> um, Herman, there are no words in this book. How am I supposed to read it's it to okay, you? It's okay, Oscar. Just look. Herman, this is my favorite story. No. Herman, you can eat again. <gasps> Hooray! <laughs> hey, you want me to get you anything? Oh, yeah. There's some gummy bears in that drawer over there. On it. <laughs> Oscar? Hmm? Will you read me your story again? Oh, <laughs> of course, Herman. Yay! All right, here we go. <clears throat> Heads up! Ooh, gummy bears. <sighs> All right. Here we go again. <clears throat> Once upon a time, <laughs> there was a drove of hares who spent their days playing games and running races in a meadow of beautiful flowers. Oscar and Herman Play Inside is brought to you by four puppet people. Brought to you in partnership with the Brooklyn Public Library. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel so we can keep bringing you more free family fun. Visit OscarandHerman.com for every episode, coloring pages, activities, and more. Thanks for watching, everyone. And be sure to catch us next week for episode four. four.